uh, very, very briefly, the, the process starts typically in the big blue uh, unit at the top, and that's a mill. That smashes the grain, the malt, into basic flour. It comes down into one of the two vessels in the corner. It's mixed with some water at varying temperatures and time, and that converts the starch in the grain into sugar. From there, you use either the unit by the lift, or on the second time here, and that removes the solids from the liquid. You want to keep the liquid it's nice and sweet, it's turned warped at that point. From there, you boil it, put it into the kettle, and you boil it. You boil for a number of reasons. One is to sterilize it, because when you add your yeast later, you don't want it to compete with any bacteria. It creates a disgusting beer if you do. Uh, the other one is where you add your hops. So it converts the, acid, the alpha acids in the hops into the bittering compounds, so you get your bitterness, and you also get your hop aromas. Okay? It also helps take out some things like proteins and polyphenols and stuff like that that lead to a hazy beer at the end of the process. From there, it goes into a whirlpool, which is nice and simple, enters at a tangent, so it spins in the tank, and all the solids that are formed in the, in the boil are pulled to the center and the bottom. It's also where you might add more hops, you want more um, aroma. So with the hops, the longer they're in the, in the process, the more bittering you get and the less flavor you get. So the shorter time they're in contact, the more aroma and less bitter. Uh, from here, we basically cool it and put it into the fermenter down on the ground floor, down the same level as the bar. Uh, and that's where you add your yeast. So from grain to the fermenter is eight to 10 hours, depending on, on, on what you're brewing. Then you add your yeast, and the yeast, depending on what you're brewing, is it an ale or a lager, can anywhere be from three days to two weeks. Ferments, turns all that sugar into alcohol and CO2. And then you remove that yeast, process it through to package the product. Wow.